Your Bernina 820 is packed full with beautiful decorative stitches to embellish all your diverse sewing projects. Whether they are garments, home deck items, craft items, and we can't forget quilting, with such a large selection of stitches to choose from, the creative possibilities are endless. A special category is dedicated to quilts and patchwork stitches. If you want to know more information or get some good tips on how to best utilize your Bernina 820, the tutorial provides help on the themes pertaining to your sewing computer and diverse sewing applications. Touch the tutorial icon and a special screen appears. Select a topic, quilting for example. Touch the topic, crazy patchwork, and a screen appears with information and instructions. Scroll. Turn the multifunction knobs to scroll through the information. Exit the screen. An easy way to do crazy strip patchwork is to cut pieces of fabric of your choice and place them on a piece of medium to heavy weight embroidery stabilizer. To prevent the pieces from moving around, spray a temporary adhesive on the right side of the stabilizer. Place the fabric pieces on the stabilizer so that the raw fabric edges are just touching each other without overlapping. It might be necessary to overlap some pieces. Attach Presser Foot 1C. To access the dedicated quilt slash patchwork stitch screen, touch the icon. Scroll through the large selection of stitches including Quilter Securing Program, Straight Stitch for Seaming, Hand Look Stitch, and many others that can be used for embellishment purposes. Scroll down and touch stitch number 1339. Press the external auto presser foot button and place your fabric under the presser foot so that the center line of the foot is directly over the joined raw fabric edges. The presser foot is now in hover position. That means the foot is not completely lowered. There is room under the foot to make last minute fabric adjustments if necessary. Begin to sew. As soon as the foot control is depressed, the presser foot lowers completely and the sewing computer begins sewing. Near the end of the seam, Press the Auto Secure button on the head frame to secure. Cut both top and bottom threads and raise the presser foot. Look at the screen. The bobbin thread message lets you know the percentage of bobbin thread left on the spool. To select another stitch from a different category, touch the Decorative Stitch menu icon. Forward sewn stitches are most suited for embellishing crazy patchwork seams, as well as the crazy quilt stitches in your quilt menu. The stitches in categories 101, 301, 401, 601, 701, 902, 1113 have no set stitch length or stitch width, which means you have the freedom to change them as you desire, creating your own personal decorative stitch variations. Touch category 701. Select stitch 701. Increase the stitch width by turning the stitch width multifunction knob until the width is 9 millimeters. Place your fabric under the presser foot and begin the seam. In addition, the stitch width and stitch length can be altered while sewing. That's a Bernina exclusive. Simply turn the stitch width knob to the left to decrease and to the right to increase the width. If you want to save this stitch with its altered setting so you can access it for use on other quilt or patchwork projects, touch the stitch altering area and a special screen appears. Touch the personal program icon and select two personal program folders in which to save your personalized settings. Both folders can be named and designated for your own favorite stitches or for specific projects or techniques. Touch the personal program folder of your choice. You might want to name your folder before saving the stitch. To do that, touch the gray field and a keyboard appears. Type in the name quilts, for example, then approve with the green check. Now touch the blinking stitch to save it and automatically exit the screen. Select more beautiful stitches from the other categories. Your Bernina 820 keeps track of what stitches you sew in case you want to go back and select them and can't remember the stitch number. What a time-saving convenience! Touch the History Stitches icon to view the last 12 stitches sewn. Each stitch can be selected from this screen and sewn again.